poor adults. asking you a few questions if it's going to be the right fit for you. the clientele you need some time efficiency you need like a step-by-step -step process you kind of just started taking on clients I can feel your passion I can feel your drive What's up guys we just had a really good day we had a separate really good day he went to work and I had phone calls all day for my 12-week mastermind program that I talked to you guys about in the what frustrates me video I had a really good day talking to everybody and I'm just so freaking excited about this. It's mind-blowing to talk to people that just like connect with it so much. It's just super fun. I've been sitting all day, like phone calls all day. It was kind of like being at an expo, like talking all day, but it was really fun. But now I'm going to the gym. Brian and I are doing squats and other stuff. We're gonna take a little bit of a different approach with the voiceover for this workout. So let's get into it. I hope you guys enjoy. What is going on guys? It is Brian and today I'm doing the voiceover instead of Amanda so I hope you guys welcome me uh, with open arms. So first as you guys can see right here we are doing a warm up just basically like 10 minutes jog on the treadmill to get the blood flowing and we also did a little bit of foam rolling and whatnot to get ready for this leg day. First exercise was squats. I did front squats and Amanda did back squats. Um, I love strength training and training leg day, starting with compound lifts because uh, it's better to do when fresh. At least I personally think I like starting out with compound movements just because, you know, like I said, you're fresh and you engage more muscles in the beginning of the workout and then you can really give it your all right at the beginning and then as the workout moves on, you can do more isolated stuff that's not as taxing. I think Amanda did. 145 pounds at a 5x5, five five, which is light for her, but I recall she did not drink enough water and was kind of dizzy throughout the workout, so she kind of took it a little bit easy, and uh, she pushed through and added, uh, went up to 155 pounds for her last couple sets. 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 <laughs> uh, so, and then what I did is I did front squats, worked up to 275 for two sets, and then dropped it down to 225 and try to go as hard as I could for those two sets of 225. Uh, to talk a little bit, just generally, guys, I think it's awesome that all the girls listening love strength training, love the fact that Amanda strength trains, and it's what one of the initial things that drew me to. I think sometimes in society, women being in the gym and lifting heavy weights can be looked at a little weird. So uh, I'm, I'm just super glad that Amanda's out there pushing the right messages and just putting out the right information that uh, all women should lift and it's good for you and it doesn't make you bulky and all of that stuff that you guys already know but anyways moving on to the leg press so yes after squats we did leg press Amanda did uh, I believe wide stance leg press and kept it somewhat light and I did single leg I like doing leg press at the end honestly but uh, we kind of switched it up this workout and start and did it for the second movement Worked up to three plates, I believe I did for the single le for like isolated, and Amanda kept it at two, and then I believe she dropped it down to one plate. So here you guys see us doing seated hamstring curls, which I personally like doing lying hamstring curls, but this specific golds that we are at in Virginia only had this kind of seated one, so we just knocked this one out. I believe we each did three or four sets. And uh, I knocked out a couple drop sets, and that was that for hamstring curl. We didn't do too uh, much quad isolation at the end of the workout because uh, at the beginning of the lift with the squats and leg press, we kind of we <laughs> pretty much exhausted the quads there. Last thing that we knocked out was the glute abductor, which I personally have never done. This was literally my first time doing it, and uh, so Amanda pretty much schooled me here, and I'm. <laughs> Pretty sure she doubled the weight that I was doing, but I uh, really wanted to get the form down. And uh, it became extremely apparent to me that I have a very square butt during this workout. So definitely going to be utilizing this machine 100% because I uh, can't be having a square butt, right? We need it nice and round. 
Amanda has that on lock, so I'm trying <laughs> believe we knocked out four sets here as usual so this really wrapped up the workout guys we did four movements first two were the more compound movements along in line with what i was saying earlier and then just knocked out two kind of isolation movements i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this thank you for listening bit of a switch up from what you guys are normally used to but i will see you guys in future videos i am sure so have a good one We're adults. <laughs> I feel like workout is done. I hope you guys liked that little rendition of this guy's voiceover. <laughs> Anyways, we have a few dinners planned this weekend. So goal is to eat moderately, but enjoy myself still. Brian and I were talking today that like we feel like we perform better in the gym when we're kind of more on point with our diets as well. So and I kind of I completely agree with that actually. Like prefer being on track for Keep that reason. Everything tight. Tight. Not only like the way you look, but the way you feel and perform in the gym is really gets affected. We're not really gonna like track dinner, any of the dinners that we go to. Neither of us are doing that. Just keeping it moderate. Our first dinner date couple. Right here. They're our, our dinner date guests. And there's May. <laughs> so cute. Got eight ounce steak, mashed potato, and some veggies. The boys got the same thing, and then May and I got the same section. <laughs> Look at that! That's crazy. I'm walking on the moon. Where'd he go? This is so sick. Where'd he go, the guy? If you guys are curious, we're in this spot over here, and these walls in the city center are forever changing. <laughs> Yeah. I'm an adult. Hey right, guys, it is the next day and I'm having PE Science Protein Coffee. I'm also gonna have White Meals Cookie to go along with it. And my dad came to visit. Hi. Hi, Dad. Hello, <laughs> my dad um, flew in from Rhode Island to come visit and hang out with me today. So we're gonna go to the monuments and stuff and I'm super excited to hang out with him. I'm gonna have a quick snack and then we're gonna go explore. There it is. When was the last time you were here, Dad? When you were 20, you said? 22. 54 now. <laughs> Don't look a day over 31. The same hair goes all the way up. So crazy. Beautiful day. That's so cool. So cool. Alright, guys. This is how far we walked from. All the way back there, to all the way down here. Dad and I had a fun day walking around. Great day. Oh, look at these big ones. Oh, oh yeah. my god. This place has macros on their sandwiches. That is oh. cool. That is so cool. It's amazing. I love these high ceilings. I worked today, babe. You're, you were just about to do something. <laughs> How do you put my sleeve back on? Put your sleeve back on. <laughs> okay. Fucking buttons just went everywhere. Nice. Douchebag. Is that Douche how you do bag. it? Yes. This is how he comes home from work and rips his shirt because he's It's Friday, it's the weekend. <laughs> Boyfriend goals. <laughs> What's up guys? It is the start of the next day. I haven't ended this video yet. I usually like don't really have any idea about when to end the video. Sometimes I just kind of film and then I forget. So we're gonna end the video right here. I'll catch you guys in the next one. It'll be a continuation of my time in DC with Brian. So I'll catch you guys there.